carve out some time for yourself. Mm -hmm. This is how you're going to operate at your fullest capacity is by making sure that you're not experiencing that burnout, that you're not, you're recharging your own batteries. Yep. What so, does that look like with you? What's carve out time for yourself? What is it for you? Recharging comes from where? For me, going to the gym five times a week. I used to hate it. Trust me. I was, I hated it. <laughs> I think Ronnie and I were together for at least five. No, we've been, it's been, it's been a while. 16 years now. I would say, oh, geez. So that means you probably went 10, maybe 12, 13 years without going to the gym before you finally like fell in love with the gym. I was going off and on. For a while, you know, I was going pretty consistently. Then I would fall off and not get back on for a long time because I hated it. But, what, but that's what everyone watching this podcast does. That, that yeah. doesn't work. So how long till you became, like it's how many only years been... before you became, I'm going to go do this every day, five days a week? How long has it been? Since Sherry? 75 like, hard. So two maybe years? Maybe two years? Two years, yeah. Now I, it's hard. It feels normal to me. <laughs> it's, but, well, because it's built into your life now. Yes. Yeah. And I feel good going mm -hmm. and I never regret it now. So, um, so that's the first thing. And then also the I key, love the difference is, is that now do you regret it if you don't go? Yes. I, I always go though, unless I'm sick and then exactly. I don't regret it. That's my point. So if you're watching it's built into her year, it's built into her life and it's become part of her routine. And now if she doesn't go, she doesn't feel as good as if she does go right. Because it's part of the routine. That's the whole point of this whole thing for you when you're starting your year, you guys, is like having time for yourself, you know, so for Ronnie and I, every morning we wake up at pretty much the same time and we go to the gym at pretty much the same time, right? We don't go to the same gym because I can't get her to go to my gym. <laughs> she won't There's come. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but we go to the gym, right? And so... She enjoys going to the gym. I enjoy going to the gym. It's good for us. We feel good. We feel healthy. It's part of our routine. That's time for ourselves, right? The, the gym to, to me, and I think Ronnie would even agree, it's like a form of like therapy. You know, it's like you go, you get your body moving, your energy goes up, your endorphins go up, your blood is flowing. It, it, it increases confidence and just like you just feel better. It gives, it gives you energy. Maybe time for you for you is also what time for yourself is also reading. Reading, I love reading, and I can I feel off when I don't do it. Mm -hmm. So I usually am reading a self development book, but also a fun book because I think that's where the love of reading comes from. And so I usually do self development on audio and maybe you know a fun you know nonfiction book on uh, you know reading it actually physically reading it. And a lot of people go, well, I don't like it. I don't like the gym. I don't like to read. I'm like, well, do you like being broke? No, but you do it anyways. You know, do you like being unhealthy? No, but you do it anyways. It's like I, the, these, thing, these are things that are good for you that I'm not telling you you have to do, but they're good for you. you know. And, and I think one of my superpowers has always been that I do not have to like it to do it. You know, I don't like leg day. Are you kidding me? But I try to convince myself that I do, right? I'm like, all these girls like it because it gives them this big butt and little waist. And I'm like, they get fired up for it the same way guys get fired up for like chest day or arm day or whatever, right? So I, I literally go, well, I'm going to pretend that I'm one of those girls who really wants to get a big butt and a little waist and, you know, like just look my best in my legs. And so I, I literally try to convince myself that I enjoy it. Sometimes it works, by the way. Other days, I'm just like, God, this is misery. How do, how do, because some girls do legs like three times a week. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how in the world do you do that? But I do it anyway. That's the difference. One last thing on the gym, if you hate the gym, because I discovered this over a very long period of time, is that if you don't enjoy going to the gym, try going to the gym differently. Mm. And by that, I mean, Damn, like he was, some he was talking here. about his gym, getting, trying to get me to go with him and work out with him. I freaking hated it. He's all like, like this is so serious, wow. you know, like <laughs> oh, I want to be so buff. And, you know, I, if I'm not in pain, if I'm not suffering, then I'm doing it wrong. I don't want to suffer. <laughs> I like being sore. I like the feeling of being sore, but I don't want to be in excruciating pain. 
I don't want to oh, dread. Neither do I. <laughs> Apparently, you do. No, not excruciating pain. You said if it, I'm not suffering, then I'm not doing it right. That's what I you think said. We were actually talking about dieting at no, that point. No, you were talking about the gym. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> um, but uh, so we don't work out together clearly anymore because I don't want to be in the suffering boat. Because <laughs> I'm like, like come on, to. ten more. Let's I can't go. do that. Like, I'm like, nope, I'm, I'm miserable. <laughs> I don't enjoy this. It doesn't feel good. Like my knees feel like they're just gonna, you know pop and i don't want to get injured at the gym that's so stupid you know i agree (laughs) uh so i work out with sherry okay with sherry because it's fun and we talk and then we go get coffee after and it's fun and we like it so you don't have to do the gym the way everyone does the gym no i like i like what you said because that applies to everything not just the gym right this isn't a gym podcast, right? No. So this applies to everything. If, you, if you're not enjoying business and it's not working for you, then maybe you need to do something differently. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why you got to talk to your coach. If, if you hate your diet and you're just miserable on your diet, well, maybe you need to switch diets. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a, it doesn't mean, I, well, this is just not for me. Like you cannot justify that making money is not for you. Helping people is not for you. Doing business is not for you. Going to the gym and being healthy is not for you. Following a meal plan and not eating like a jackass is not for you. Like there's, you can't justify that because it is for you. So either you need to, as Ronnie said, try it in a different form or you need to just toughen up and stop making excuses and you need to do it anyway, right? That's the whole title of our podcast. You need to win anyway. Regardless of what comes before that, you got to win anyway. And so... um but that was a really good point. I like that. That if you don't, if you're not enjoying it, then do it differently. Try doing it differently. 